care. Holy moly. Today is our last day in this country. But we're moving on to a new one. Just look at outside. It's mega early. But we gotta get there pretty early so we can do a bunch of last minute stuff like exchanging money and whatnot. So, all right, goodbye, place. Oh, let's go. So, uh, we missed our flight. We were off by five minutes, so now we're trying to call Air Canada and see what we can do. Or we're thinking about just buying a flight to, straight to Osaka because prior we were gonna land in Tokyo, take a train to Osaka, and then that would take apparently like four hours. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Alright, we made it on the plane. When we got to the concourse, they were like calling for us and, and yelling and like, you know, and then they walked up to me and they're like, are you, are, you, are you going to Japan? And I was like, yes. And then they're like, oh, you need to run. And I was like, oh shit. So I ran and I'm sweaty. We're on the plane, everything's okay. drinks and two packages of sandwiches uh, for $12 US dollars so pretty much six bucks each pretty cheap oh for everything yeah six bucks each for everything cash only though so make sure to bring a lot of cash when you come to Japan
to our Airbnb. Uh, from what Google Maps says, we just have to. Oh, sorry. From what Google Maps says, we just have to walk straight for like 10 minutes, so it should be okay. I feel like this looks a lot like Korea, but Tina says it doesn't. Oh, should I lift that? Are you good? Yeah. Damn, you're strong. All right, made it to the b, &B. No problems at all. There's actually uh, a different building than what I thought it was. Uh, on Google Maps, it pinned the building across from us for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I think Tina's gonna take a shower. And while she showers, I'm gonna just go like roam and explore the area and see if I can like, find some food. Really nice place. We got TV there. We got um, washer dryer there. This is the bathroom. And over there, you can see it. Uh, this the kitchen area. This is the bed. Haven't tested it out yet. I'm sure it's great. Like, honestly, it feels like a hotel. Like, the amenities is great. I'll link this place in the description. Um, if any of you ever come down to Osaka area, uh, definitely stay here. That's how you get in. Hmm. This area is pretty cool. I can walk around a little bit. I think there's like a main road that way. That way. So I'm gonna try and head up the main road, see what I can find. I'm smelling like like a yang yum kind of fried chicken somewhere. I don't know. Hopefully, there's like a convenience store somewhere. Alright, so I'm like totally jaywalking without realizing it down that road over there. And hilariously, there's a Panasonic like right there. And I needed to get my camera checked out because there's just like that weird rattling from before. It just keeps happening. Not really sure why. So far, there's a couple of food places I passed by that seem to be open pretty late. And look, there's a 24 hour fitness thing. It's right there. Can't really see it. Maybe if I zoom in a little. No, nope, the sign is maybe too bright. Oh, no, nope, there we go. Yeah, 24 hour fitness. Maybe I'll be able to get in there or something. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Still haven't seen a convenience store. Can't tell if that's a food place or if they just only sell alcohol. 24 hour break? Oh, this is a parking lot. Okay. Oh, so I guess there's more stuff in this direction than there was back in that direction. So maybe I'll run over this way. Stopped by a 7-Eleven, tried my uh, Visa card there, didn't work, so that kind of worries me, but I'm sure once I get to the Tokyo area, it should be fine. I'm like really praying that I'm walking in the correct direction right now. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Whoever said food in Japan is expensive, this much fried chicken is five dollars, guys. Five dollars. Five dollars. 
So our entire meal of that 10 pieces of fried chicken and the potatoes and beer was like 12 bucks. USD. That's so fucking cheap. That That's the same price as the tiny ass little sandwiches that we got with the green tea. I told you, it's convenient. Holy Dumbinos. Childish Dumbino. I guess it's a steakhouse, maybe? No, it says Italian Meats. Kitchen, so you want to keep looking down this way or should we just head back? Maybe we should head back. Okay. Alright, I'm cool with that. Picked up some onigiri stuff. We got steak and mayonnaise and Something's tuna. Tuna and I got a cheap one. I think this is a fast food chain. I kind of want to try it. Maybe I'm really cool. But not today because I'm so full. I'm dying. So this was like three dollars. They're pretty much like a dollar each. Is it so cheaper or more expensive than pretty, pretty, same, pretty, pretty much the same. I think it's actually a little bit cheaper in Korea, but not bad. It's okay. So we'll just throw these in the fridge, and then uh, that's our breakfast tomorrow. So for breakfast, we're spending three dollars. Pretty good. Susan, I cannot believe that place was 12 bucks for all that food. 